bad decisions. We've all made them. We can never get away from them either. Whether it's eating that bad sushi in the mall, when your car is on empty and you think you'll make that mile. <laughs> My point is, bad decisions are part of human nature and sometimes we can't get away from it. One of those bad decisions is painting your walls and then ending up not liking the color you pick. And I am here to help with that so you don't have to suffer like some people that haven't watched this video yet. <laughs> and we're gonna do that with Photoshop. If you guys want to, you can take a picture of your own living room and follow along. Uh, my living room is a little cluttered right now. So I'm just gonna take a picture off of Pexels. Link below for free uh, stock photography. And I'm just gonna use that for the, today's video. Let's get started. All right, so really the hardest part of this whole entire process is just trying to select the walls that you're trying to virtually paint apart from all of the rest of the photo. So really take your time trying to get through this because you want it as accurately as possible. If you want a good representation of what your living room would look like or whatever room you're trying to paint will look like. All right, so basically once you have all, everything selected, you wanna go over to adjustments right over here and you wanna select hue saturation. Once you're over there, since you already had everything selected on the picture layer, it automatically makes the mask for you. So you won't have to select everything out afterwards. So really all you have to do now is just play around with the colors. Now, before you do that, whenever you try to play around with the colors, it will change the colors, as you can see here. But if you try to saturate it, you get that. And you don't want that, unless you do want that. It looks cool, but at the same time, it doesn't. So you see, you see right here where it says colorize? That will make everything a solid color. I don't know the science behind it, just, just trust me, hit the button and you'll see what I mean. Let's, let's take everything back to zero first. Hit colorize. And now whenever you try to saturate, it changes to that color. It makes that color more intense. So now all you want to do is just play around with the colors. And what I like about this method is that whatever whatever brightness or whatever bright areas or shadows there was on the original photo is actually preserved. So you see these shadows like right up here and right over here, it, it's from the original photo. Once you find a good color that you like, let's say I like this red then you can go back up to adjustments and hit the brightness and contrast since the mask isn't there for that you can hit the uh, option and then click between the layers and it'll give you this downwards arrow and it's basically saying it's clipped to this layer so you can hit the brightness I kind of like that. That looks really cool. <laughs> uh, you can hit the contrast a little bit, make it as bright red or dark red as you want. I actually really like this. That's that looks really good. I don't know if you guys like red walls, but 
I don't know. I kind of like it. Let me see what it looked like if it was blue. That doesn't look bad either. That this might be like the graphic designer artist speaking in me, but I don't know. I, I like I like the I like the blue man. I like it. Let's see what else can we conjure up here. Ooh, I like that deep blue too. Oh yeah, if you guys hit the, if you guys, if you guys take the saturation all the way over to the left, you guys can actually play with gray too. So you can, you can make the, you can make the walls black if you want. Or light gray, which probably most of you will probably choose because gray is in right now. Which this doesn't look bad either. I like gray. I just feel like it's too overused. I, we need to go back to crazy colors, man. I want to go back to this. I want to go back to blue, to red. When, is, when are the crazy colors going to be in, man? You know what? I'm going to make my walls yellow. That kind of actually fits with the furniture. <laughs> this would look good with, with with this living room setup. I'm going on in a tangent. Just, you know what? You, you guys can go play around with what I taught you today. But that's pretty much all for me. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe. If you guys want to tag me on Instagram with what your living room looks like with the uh, painted walls that'd be cool if you guys do decide to try this but uh yeah you guys have a great rest of your day peace